Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review today. This one is by Knee Deep Brewing Company and it's called Splurge Imperial IPA. It comes in at 9% alcohol by volume and 69 IBUs. And that's what the can looks like. Okay, uh, it's got some literature here. It says Go ahead and treat yourself to this amazing 9% ABV beer, West Coast Style Imperial IPA. When it comes to hops, we splurged a little copious mosaic galaxy and hell melon. Hops bring huge aromas of ripe tropical fruits and flavors of sweet melon. A hint of citrus leads to you a medium bodied and dry finish. Splurge a little, you are totally worth it. Woo! And they're from uh, Auburn Placer County, California. Never heard of it. Uh, I've never had this before. Never even seen it. Nothing. It's got a canned on date of 2720. So it's a couple months old already, but it should be fine because it's in a can. Again, that's what the can looks like. Okay, so let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Definitely looks like a West Coast style coming out. I do like knee deep uh, brewing beers. Their beers are awesome. As long as you can get them fresh. I smell hops already. Alright. So we got a monster, frothy, creamy, silky looking head. With some bubbles both breaking up in the middle there. And we got a crystal clear, light gold color. A few bubbles streaming up from the bottom. See the hop guy through the beer there. Looks pretty good. more in here. A nice little donut on top here. Looking good. I can tell you I can smell the hops from here and it smells really good. Alright that should do it. I don't think I'm going to get the whole thing in right now. That's what she said. Okay, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Right up front, I'm getting like uh, some bready malts with some citrusy kind of hop notes. Like pine. A little grapefruit. Smells like a West Coast style to me. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mmm. Yum. So I have an audience today. Um, say hi, audience. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, okay, the taste follows the aroma, let's get another hit, cheers. Yeah, it's pretty much like mostly piney. It does have some citrusiness to it, but it's the kind of citrusiness that would be like a hop 
type citrus. Not like fruit blended or nothing like that. It's got a pretty good malt backbone. Pretty well balanced. Pretty much all pine. And then the malt has like a brightiness to it. And then there's that kind of citrusiness that's mimicked by the hops. Maybe like lemon and grapefruit would be like some of the notes I'd pick up. Pretty darn good. I picked this up in a four four pack of pints, four pints for like uh, 16 bucks out the door. Yeah, nine percent. You can't taste any raw alcohol notes at all. There's no booziness or nothing. Let's swill it one more time. See if we can pick up anything else. Cheers. Well, that's about what I got. Um, it's pretty refreshing. It's got a medium mouthfeel. Um, one more time. Cheers. Yeah, it's pretty well balanced. There's no lingering bitterness on the back end or nothing. It's got good, uh, good quality, a good combination of hops. That's that they're using. It's got a good malt backbone. So on a scale of one to five stars, I'm gonna give this puppy uh, four stars out of five. It's a good IPA, good uh, Imperial IPA. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's pretty darn good. Would I pick it up again for 16 bucks for four pints? Probably not. Um, I think it's a little overpriced, but it is a pretty darn good double IPA yeah it's pretty good so four stars it is that's my story and I'm sticking with it I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section please like and subscribe I'd much appreciate that and uh, we'll catch y'all later see ya